Be 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 all of you approved from the Jester Gravy new art news arts. Good morning all. How are we? Look at this lovely sunlight today. I'm getting kind of a you know sort of romantic sunlit thing going on here. Um uh, what you know, hello. <laughs> Let's talk about piss. Right, okay. In the latest news from the news arts, we have <laughs> we have some pride float that told women to suck girl dick. Got it. These wankers. Right, so got it, but that's not the biggie. The biggie is this. There's a, 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 a sort of moribund um, uh, magazine online called Vice, right? Okay. It says it already, doesn't it? Vice, right? And um, apparently, trans activists left over 60 bottles of piss outside the offices of the Equality and Human Rights Commission, the EHRC, on Friday afternoon to protest the government's watchdog's policy on trans access to public facilities. What it really means is that they're a bit pissed off that women can have their own spaces, so they filled some bottles with piss, <laughs> took them down to the EHRC, and put them outside the door. They didn't actually just do that, right? You have to have a look at the picture. I've got a link to the thing on, on the on the on the Dubris, so subscribe and do all the thing, and you know become a Patreon, all that stuff, all that's down there, right? Pissed off that women can't have their own spaces. Let's bear in mind what that means. Women can't have their own spaces in hospitals. Women can't have their own spaces in rape centres. Can you imagine that? In rape centres, women can't have their own spaces as in toilets when they need to do what womenly things they do, of which I know zero, right? But womenly things, I trust them. I'll let them do their womenly things, okay? No women's spaces. They don't want it, say these men. They can't help themselves, right? So, so they filled 60 bottles with piss. <laughs> I want to know what the bottles were. Which was it, Coke bottle or oh, milk bottle? Could you imagine the smell in the car on the way there? For God's sake, open the window, Jacqueline. <laughs> These nut jobs. Right, okay. Then one of them, who's obviously a total tosser, <laughs> just stood in front of the EHR, the Equality and Human Rights Commission. This is one of the most august institutions in the world when it comes to human rights. They stood there and poured piss over themselves with their legs open, with a skimpy dress on, so everybody could get a look at their cock in profile. <laughs> Covered in piss. And these people think this is about gay men and women. <laughs> Fuck off, you bastards. Nothing to do with gay men and women. Well, unless, of course, you support gender ideology, in which case it's everything to do with you. Right, so... Um, <coughs> right, so we've got an article that comes from Vice. I thought we'd have a quick look at it, because, you know... <laughs> it's not like I haven't got a hundred other things to be doing. So... Masked representatives of the anonymous group Pissed Off Trannies. That's what this group's called, Pissed Off Trannies, or POT. That's appropriate, they're obviously drug addled. Ceremonially delivered the urine. <laughs> Was there incense? Give me Whipping themselves with leather straps. Right? Ceremoniously delivered the urine. <laughs> How can I say that line? I won't, you'll have to read it. To the EHR office in Westminster London and staged what they described as a piss in. <laughs> they truly are deranged. I understand that they all sang that uh, famous song by Joanna Lennon, Give Piss a Chance. <laughs> and then they gave us a rendition of Melody Brooks from the famous film To Be or Not To Be, loved by two of my best friends. When, he, when she sang, All I Want Is Piss, dressed as Hitler, <laughs> All I Want Is Piss. Piss, piss, a little piss of Poland. <laughs> These people are mad. Ah, there was then a short rendition from the famous book by Leonardo Tolstoy, War and Piss. <laughs> and then Manchester Pride turned up with a dove of piss. <laughs> and meanwhile, uh, all the other... All the other charities and groups that say they represent gay men and women stood behind, shouting, you're in the money. Oh, I'm making myself laugh. That was terrible. I'm such a narcissist. So, masked representatives of the anonymous group pissed, pissed off pot, pissed off trannies, ceremoniously delivered the urine to the EHRC offices in Westminster, London, and staged what they described as a pissing. Right? Okay, here we go. One member pissed herself <laughs> in her bejeweled gown before pouring bottles of urine on herself on the pavement outside the building, all the while shouting, the EHRC has blood on its hands and piss on its streets. 
The EHRC has blood as that these people are fucking insane. But at least we know what the T and Q are now, folks, eh? So we're beginning to see a line being put so we can get the LGB away from them. This is where we seem to be going with this now, and I'm very pleased by that, by that factor. However, there's something vile going on here, isn't there? Yep, because I know what it is that they're LARPing. I know what it is that they're referencing when they're doing this. And I don't think many people have picked this up. They're referencing, the people, referencing, referencing people who were fighting for peace, who poured petrol on themselves. And set themselves like it. That's what they're referencing. Nobody's picked it up yet, but that's what they're referencing. So, the activist speaking to Vice on the condition of anonymity. <laughs> really? <laughs> Don't shoot me face. Describe the dramatic action. The dramatic action. Dramatic action. This is die hard. Piss hard. <laughs> the pissinator. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> The activist, speaking to Vice on the condition of anonymity, described the dramatic action as an extreme version of the public embarrassment that trans people experience on a daily basis using the toilet that either doesn't fit with their gender or using the one that does, and then faking the backlash of people's judgment. What the fuck are they talking about? If you're a bloke, go in the blokes. If you're a woman, go in the woman's. It's not fucking common. Nobody cares, you know. Really, just go and use the men's. Leave the women alone. Bloody men's rights activists, because that's what this is. And then they put she added. Right, yeah, this is the one that pissed himself and then put piss all over himself with his cock showing. Is that the she? You fucking wankers. The Equality and Human Rights Commission is more concerned with pushing its transphobic agenda than it is in protecting the civil rights of the people it is meant to serve, which is UK citizens. Is it really? Now, to my knowledge, the Equality and Human Rights Commission, who are currently doing great work in the field of not just race, but also class, which isn't even a protected characteristic, and looking at how people can fulfil their public sector equality duty, I shout that this particular pissed-off tranny is full of shit. How about that? Right? OK. Vice World News. Vice World News. <laughs> Vice's one-page website. <laughs> Previously published leaked EHRC, EHRC guidance. Someone leaked. It was available to everybody. <laughs> Each of guns to exclude trans people from single sex spaces. No, to exclude men from women's spaces and women from men's spaces. Get it? Not hard. Right, okay. Pot, pissed off Travis, made a swift exit after the piss in. <laughs> Was it a damp one? <laughs> Leaving behind the bottles of urine and the bewildered and annoyed EHRC security team. Bewildered and annoyed? Fucking, I'd be furious, never mind annoyed. You know what? They didn't give a toss to think about who it is that might have to clear it up, did they? Not one second didn't occur to them who had to clear it up. Imagine those people coming out, the minimum wage workers. These fuckers. Right? They made a swift exit. They, but the annoyed EHRC team called the police. Over 20 officers subsequently arrived in vans to cordon off the area of police tape. After the event. <laughs> Piss here. Stop. Right. Then it goes on to explain what the EHRC is, which, if you don't know, is a non-departmental government public body responsible for the enforcement of... Not enforcement, not a word I'd use, but it's responsible, responsible for the enforcement of equality legislation in Britain. It, however, it recently issued guidance advising that excluding trans people from sex services and spaces could be considered legal, which it is, right? They aren't excluding trans people. They're excluding men from women's spaces and women from men's spaces. This is not complicated, you numpties. Why are you making it so difficult, Right? No matter what your gender is, it's immaterial. It's sex that matters. Sex. I like, you know, like gay men have sex with gay men and lesbians have sex with lesbians. You know, we don't do the opposite sex. It's about sex. Your gender is immaterial. Gender identity doesn't exist. A pro <clears throat> right, and, no, here we go. Here's another one. Look, Stonewall, right? 19 LGBT plus groups, which includes, I imagine, the LGBT Foundation of Manchester Pride and Stonewall, have already decided that they are going to take the Global Alliance of National Human Rights Institution and try and strip the EHRC of its A rating as a human rights body. Everything has to be about them, right? The EHRC deals with the nine protected characteristics under the Equality Act and makes sure that people that aren't protected are also treated with equal tolerance, right? They're not there to facilitate filthy, cock-showing, piss-drenched men in dresses. Get it? Okay, good, because it's not all about you. 19, LGBT, 19 LGBT, LGBT groups that are supporting this crap, right? Okay? There is no LGBT community. There is no LGBTQ plus community. There is no LGBTQ plus 2S, PA, hands, knees, and bumps, daisy community. There is only gay people, lesbian people, and everyone else, right? And right now, we're going to make sure that gay people and lesbian people can actually get together without having to worry about the rest of the bloody alphabet soup. 
It says here that multiple staff have quit the equality and human rights body, citing an anti-LGBT culture. No, we're just anti-lunacy, I imagine. That's what it is. They've gone, right, get the lunatics out. <laughs> Good, because we're going to do it elsewhere. We're going to get you out. We're going to get rid of you. It's going to be fairly straightforward to do. Our new Prime Minister and our new Minister for Equalities. Boom. Game on, folks. We're going to get him out of schools. We're going to get him out of hospitals. We're going to get him out of everywhere. Get the nutters gone, right? Pot. Pissed off, Travis. <laughs> I quite like saying that. Say they are inspired by the tradition of 70s and 80s zaps. Outrageous demonstrations designed to draw attention to issues facing queer people. We don't give a monkey's toss about queer people. You know, that cue's too dark and nasty for it to be attached to any decent homosexual. Right? We want queer people to know that protests can be enjoyable. They can be theatrical. They can be exciting and they can be full of rage. The activist who spoke to Vice said, this is a person who put piss all over themselves in a thin dress so you could see their dick and did it in public, right? Or enjoyable. You bet he, you bet he found it enjoyable. These are, these, are, these are not well, these people. They're mental, okay? They can be theatrical. They can be exciting and they can be full of rage, right? Okay, you were so full of rage that you filled 20 bottles with piss, poured it over your head... Pissed yourself, showed your cock, and then ran away. <laughs> this is the behaviour of a child, not an adult. This has got nothing to do with civil rights at all. But they think it's us, you know. Your average person on the street, getting up in the morning, getting the kids to school, keeping the country going by doing whatever it is they do, they think it's us. They think it's you and me. They think this is representative of this so-called LGBTQ plus community. It is not. I am not part of it. And if you've got any sense, you better start making statements that you are not either. OK, stop betraying the gay movement. There's a serious edge to this. They think this is OK. They think it's OK for them with their piss soaked bodies to say that they can be in women's spaces. The answer is unequivocally no. Women have said this a dozen times. As a gay man, I support women's rights to their own privacy in schools, in bathrooms, in hospitals, in rape crisis centres in prisons get these men out and get them out now and we need to make a clear stand as same-sex attracted people that this is nothing to do with us the t and the q must go stop sitting back as if it isn't happening and do something bleep 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 bleep, bleep. that's your lot